Hello everyone, welcome back to Teaspoons of Flavor, and today I'm going to be making my chocolate banana bread. And so, the ingredients you're going to be needing are six very ripe bananas. Now, note that these are not rotting, but extremely black. Make sure you don't let them rot. Then, we got two eggs. We got some dark chocolate. Then, we have a teaspoon each of baking soda, baking powder, and some sea salt. I have half a cup of each of dark cocoa powder and any sweetener of your choice. Today, I'm using maple syrup. I have two thirds of a cup of applesauce. I'm gonna be using a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I have two cups of flour. You can use any type of flour you like. Today, I'm using whole wheat. So, to begin, what I'm gonna do is in this bowl, I'm gonna begin whisking the eggs. So, put them in there. I'm gonna put this to the side. Just like that. Then I'm gonna begin whisking. And I like to do this beforehand, just so I don't get any clumps of egg whenever the product is finished baking. Oh, and before you do this, I would suggest preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that should be pretty good. I'm gonna go wash my hands, then I'll be right back. What you're gonna wanna do is mash your bananas. I'm just using a potato masher for this. First, you gotta peel them. And be careful because the bananas will be very soft. And a way that I often like to have this banana bread is with some coffee in the morning and about two slices of this bread. Mm, absolutely delicious. Alrighty, so once you have peeled all of your bananas, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to mash them. And you're gonna want them to be very smooth. Absolutely no clumps. And if you want, you can also just take out the chocolate completely. And this can just be a regular banana bread recipe. To get it to about this consistency, it took me about a minute or two. You're gonna wanna add in the rest of your wet ingredients, which include the sweetener, that in there, the applesauce, and the eggs. as well as a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna eyeball it here. That should be good. And so now you just mix it all together. All right, this looks pretty good. So then what I'm gonna do in a separate bowl is I'm gonna combine the dry ingredients. Bowl like this. I'm gonna get the flour. I'm gonna get the teaspoon each of baking powder, soda, and salt. And the cocoa powder. Then I'm just gonna grab a fork. That's not a fork. And I'm gonna mix it in there. And the reason why I do it in a separate bowl is just so the ingredients get uh, more incorporated. Or most of they get incorporated evenly. Look at that. Looks delicious. I think that looks good to me. Then I'm gonna be adding this into the wet ingredients. Mm. 
I'm gonna mix it in a little bit. And we'll be using this guy. Then we're gonna be adding in the rest of the flour. And it's because, uh, so that the flour doesn't get lumpy. Alrighty, I believe that this mixture is ready. And so then we're gonna be prepping the baking dish. So I'm gonna be grabbing this. And I'm just gonna grab just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Just using some coconut oil. Right there. Let's see how much that does and make sure you get up all on the side just so it doesn't stick because that would not be very good and i almost forgot i also like to add in some chocolate chunks so i'm just gonna cut up some dark chocolate Ready? Then mix it in. So then you're gonna grab your baking dish and you're gonna wanna pour it in. Now what you can also do is sometimes I only like to use a little bit of the batter for a loaf and some and the rest of it I like to use as muffins. Okay, I'm put this to the side. Smooth it up. Just like that. Then I'm gonna pop into the oven and remember to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, of course. And we'll let it bake for around 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And so we'll be back in a little bit. So it has been about 40 minutes and I'm gonna be checking it right now. Oh, it looks absolutely magnificent. Just look at that. Alrighty. So now we're gonna be checking if it has cooked. Or if it's done cooking. So you want to put a toothpick all the way into the middle. Mm, could still use a little bit more, so I'm gonna leave it in for around 10, 15 more minutes, and then come back. And as a disclaimer, I used too much batter since for this recipe I usually do do a loaf and some muffins, and so I accidentally used all of it for a single loaf, and because of that I had to add in an extra 15 minutes to the 40, which was 55 minutes of 350 degrees. And then I added in 20 more minutes of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I checked it and now it's fully cooked. And so this is the final product. I hope you enjoy. If you like this recipe, like, comment, and share with others.